All right, so good morning, everyone. And uh, let me share my screen. Everybody is in the Friday mood, looks like. Nobody wants to say a good morning back to me. Just few back Good morning. <laughs> good morning, Rupali. <laughs> okay, you had a round of good morning, is it? While I was yes, not there. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, I hope uh, you are able to see my screen. Yeah? And you are able to hear me also, clearly. Yes. OK, OK, great. Yes, we can. Thank you. OK, so we all, in the last, um, in the last uh, session that we had, we looked at two principles. One principle was, and just quick two minutes of a recap before we move ahead. Okay, so uh, and in the last session we looked at two principles. One is um, you took a user control and freedom. In that, what we saw was that okay, what is that the user really needs when they when uh, the user takes an action is they might want to abandon what they are doing. They have initiated something, moved a few steps ahead, and they want to uh, abandon. Okay. So that is one that we saw. Then uh, there is uh, you want to just go back from where you uh, uh, initiated a specific page or an activity or something like that. You just want to go one step back, or you want to undo what you have recently done, and you could want to do undo a few more times. Okay, and we saw how it uh, some of these things, like especially uh, things like you know, user is uh, used to using the back button on the browser and that back button uh, uh, interaction conflicts with certain uh, uh, certain way in which the user uh, interface is working that it will conflict it if you uh, if the user looks at a page uh, which is open uh, opens on a different tab without the user realizing it that the page has opened on the separate tab <laughs> Or overlays, and the user might just not notice the close button, and just you know, in their default kind of uh, uh, ways, they could use the back button. Or say something similar is on full screen, right? And if you have your handheld devices and you are using the interaction of swipes, and the user wants to go back, all of these are areas that you have to be concerned about while you are taking design decisions okay or while you you know the design is implemented you will want to test it in this manner and you would want to have solutions around this so this is an important aspect that you have to uh, um, keep that in mind okay second is that when you are uh, you know when the user would want to abandon some activity that uh, the uh, user is performing and there is there, you know you've given a back you have given the close and all of that but is there ambiguity is there, is there enough clarity that the user knows what to really select to cancel or close and uh, will i be uh, miss uh, will i be losing any information that have added things like that so that ambiguity should not be there that should the uh, icons or um, labels of those buttons have to clarify that out for the user so that is what we saw um, in this principle so for that you should follow in uh, universal standards uh, and for uh, say uh, ui uh, elements and icons and language uh, and how you position things and things like that uh, give undo redo um, and if there is a sequential action so give undo and redo multiple times that helps uh, if see if there is a possibility of supporting with keyboard uh, for undos because a certain kind of experiences users could have something as uh, you know other experiences which are external outside your product or internally in your product also where you are supporting multiple uh, keyboard support so you know user might just start expecting that uh, showing uh, undo on the smart bar is risky because it is there only for a few seconds before it disappears so be careful about uh, how you are allowing the user to exit I can see there are certain examples that have been added. Thank you so much for that. Let's quickly look at the second principle also, which is consistency and standards. 
uh, and what we saw in consistency and standard is consistency and standard uh, is important when you look at a product uh, and uh, a set of products internally you have a platform in place or you have the customer has multiple projects um, products that you have to take care of how uh, and then the use users could be the same so they could expect the same kind of experience uh, same same kind of visuals and uh, uh, you know aspects about behavior all of that uh, across the products so that's important another thing is having an understanding of how similar um, experience are fulfilled on other products outside your domain also uh, anything that is already popular uh, with your users uh, also observe that and see to it that you know if there is a relevant actors that you can bring in here to just make it easy for anybody your users to comprehend uh, just do that okay in uh, consistency and um, standards what we saw as a principle is that uh, consistency of behavior UI patterns color connotations that are used uh, important color connotations in uh, within your product internally or externally make are important what does green say what does red say for the user what does yellow say for the user what does blue say for the user right so Keep uh, an eye on that layouts and positions. Again, we saw that you know where do you place a search versus where do you place a footer? Where do you place something that you want to jump up directly to the top of the page? Things like that, right? So those layouts and positions are also that you have to see if um, you know see to it that you meet the consistent and standard ones. Uh, give instructions and content uh, presentations again in a very consistent and standard manner uh, see to it that your instructions are simpler to understand they are not uh, heavy on jargon which the product team understands but uh, your user understands it and see to it that they are communicated in the standard manner across your product uh, and see how observe how they are uh, in uh, uh, in um, uh, external products also okay i hope i'm audible i am not do you hear me clearly yes Gupali. okay thank you another thing that we looked at was um yeah so context context and users okay you would say that okay if you're saying consistency and standards across do i have any room for uh creativity can i experiment can i uh can i have a better behavior in place of course you can not necessarily when you say consistency and standards you can't uh, do anything different uh, just uh, how does it give you that room for being different is that your users vary from other products uh, if they are external products or internal products and you might want to do something specific for the problem that you are solving so that gives you room for improvement okay however see to it that there is a learning curve always when you introduce anything new so you have to be uh, cognizant of that kind uh, then uh, the last is most uh, interactions should be predictable right so again something that we spoke about that you don't want to really have a lot of strain to the users to have the con uh, uh, the load of uh, comprehending something new right any points before we start uh, looking at examples when we say yeah. internal and external one i think mm -hmm. what we mean by internal and external in that case. okay when you say internal is either it is within your single product consistency and standards within your single product or if it is a set of products it's a platform then it is you have to take care that it is maintained across your platform right because it is the same user who's going to be jumping from google uh, gmail to uh, uh, slide decks to documents to spreadsheets and things like that so google is responsible to see to it that there is consistency of components that they are using or a language that they are using and your their ui and all of that we saw the, exactly Nilesh brought up an example of microsoft uh, doing exactly the same right they have ribbons in place and the language and all of that is the same so that is internal when you say external external is everything else other than your product suite okay yeah you mean to say marketing and other things 
i mean to say that if you are doing an educational product uh, then you could, might, might want to see what are the patterns that when i say i'm saying external it could be external domain okay so it could be banking it could be uh, social media applications mm -hmm. yeah. all of those popular ones where you know that your user could be your user could be spending time on those applications all right got it that is external media yeah. if slides be update hua hai naya design mein naya examples add hua hai yahan pe that is also saying like the product slide hi update ho gaya if you can see i don't think इतने नोटिस किया होगा द टॉप टूल बार पैनल स्लाइड डेक का ही ओके 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 या या इट इज राइट वी हैव दिस येलो बटन हियर या नाउ इट इज चेंज्ड योर राइट इट सडनली बिकम मोर कॉम्पैक्ट एंड देयर इज राउंड राउंड आई वांट टू सी हाउ दे आर ट्रीटिंग अदर प्रोडक्ट्स आल्सो So how it is impacting on the spreadsheet uh, and the uh, documents and all of that. Good, good. Okay, all right. So let's start with uh, this one here: user control and freedom. And our examples start from slide fifty. So here. Yeah. So this is policy buzzer, and mm. this is not a pop up. so this is basically a page level pe ye form hai where you get this four stages of uh, form fill up mm -hmm. so it goes uh, section wise and you can still come back and do those changes okay and when you are on the second stage it gives you that uh, option to go back to the first stage as well there is an arrow to the left correct yeah and the same experience once you submit this particular form and you are inside your search results then you get the option to edit and in the same interface you get this actions like you can go back and you can cancel the whole uh, event as well okay and these are pop up layers or these are on the page oh, these are these are page level page level Only on the right side, that is the uh, section pop-up layer. This one. Yeah. Got it. Okay. But this is not taking the occupying the full screen, right? We. It is uh, taking the full height, but not the full screen. Got it. That is when the it user is, is not going to be. Coming from the right or left panel, yeah. Yeah. So user is not expected to use the browse button here because it is just a panel that is opening. Correct. You are covering the full screen. The user might not. Correct. There is an overlay which comes, and this is in focus. Okay, okay. This is on overlay. Is that what you're saying? No, no. Only on the right side, the right only panel. Yeah. Achha, achha. So the first two are the page level form. Once you do your search and you are on that results list, then you get the option to edit the same form. Got it. And where the right side one of form comes up. similar to like uh, when you do a flight search when you are on the results list still you have that option to edit the destination the time uh, dates and all correct okay so yeah. you have two points here you are saying that you can really do an exit or you can really go back to the previous right yeah. if you keep going close you uh, clicking on this but uh, then how do you exit this हाँ तो मैं वही बोल रहा हूँ कि ये पेज लेवल पे है तो देर फॉर देर इज नो एग्जिट फॉर दिस क्योंकि दिस इज अ लैंडिंग पेज एंड देर आर सम अदर आइटम्स आल्सो ऑन द पेज फॉर दैट रीजन ओनली द राइट पैनल इज द कंप्लीट एग्जिट इफ यू कैन सी गॉट इट ओके एनी अदर थॉट्स क्वेश्चंस ऑन दिस आल्सो आई हैव कंसीडर्ड दिस आल्सो फॉर द अदर ह्यूमिस्टिक एज वेल for that i have mentioned the last hmm internal and external consistency yeah consistency you know okay i have to what did you notice in that uh the colors and the theme of the 
input fields, the prime action, the alignment okay. of the uh, containers and all. Okay. So when you're saying, okay, now like for example here, right? Here you have the this Excellent. color defined for interaction. Hmm. Right? And there is a similar color here, which is not for interaction, but it is to highlight. Highlight. Correct? Quality. Now as, yeah, as users, see, as designers, we will be able to understand all of this difference very clearly. Right? We know that this is lighter and this is more yellowish and this is more reddish, orange and all of that. Right? But from a user's standpoint, they may, may not. Your end users may not. Right? In certain cases. They might also wonder if there is any kind of interaction that is expected here. That is what they are talking about color con connotations in this principle. Okay? So, so this is something which has to be taken care of. Okay. Yeah. Here it is showing that, okay, you are on this. This is where you are. This is the active tab. And this is what it is showing is you have completed and now you are on the active tab. The success stage is shown as a tick mark. Correct. And ones which are not filled up, they are empty. Yeah. And this is also showing that here it's this is default selected. And you can select this, and this is also showing that this is default selected. So there is green and green and all of that. I don't know if this will pass accessibility though, but it is okay. We don't right now not talking about accessibility in this principle, so I'm ignoring that part of it. But yeah, so from a consist from a color connotation perspective, uh, one problem area is this that I noticed. But uh, otherwise, uh, from a color connotation, they are they are meeting it right so it is showing you what is selected and what is highlighted in the same green uh, your personal data is safe with us and it is again showing the green here so it's showing highlighted i'm not very sure why it is doing that uh, can i switch it off because here i can do that right i can jump probably or, or i can interact with this all greens i think i can interact with also so that is a question as a user I'm having. Maybe oh, green jitna bhi tumne fill up kiya, that is your data and it is secure. Mm, that is that probably that's a data that I've entered. So entered entered entered. Yeah. Many, haan pe kuch nahi kiya. So why is it showing me as a green? Is a question that as a user I have. Mm. Okay. Anybody else, anybody noticing anything? Also, they have managed the same primary action to different ways. Yes, it's my fixed way there and based on section area and the focus area, it's going extend up there to the uh, area. No, sorry. The continue button. Continue button? Yeah. For that interface, it is a fixed width. Okay. And whereas on the right side, the same component, but they have used the maximum space on that. Okay. Just to give that focus for. Mm -hmm. and similar applies to mobile devices as well for the responsive mm -hmm. behavior. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is not in the relevance to, of course, they've used the same button, but the width is not consistent in standard. So, but I think it just doesn't matter. In this case, it is not really anything which is a problem. So it's okay. All right. So, next, Varun. Oh, Varun said he's not going to be joining, is it? Yeah, is Varun part of the call? No, I think he's on... Uh, on leave today. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think we can move ahead then. Uh, Nivesh. We can discuss this point if you want. You should always have the option to exit or leave a page directly without having to worry about you choosing to go back, for example, home button to land the home screen on uh, on phone. Yeah, I think giving an example of what is not right. There is a screen. Here. It looks like an intermediate screen. Hmm. 
So no... here it is say it says ask. So what he says he has two examples in this. One example is that while you are navigating on the browser, there is a home button that lands you to the home screen uh, of the phone on phone. So that's good. You don't have to really worry about you know how to, uh, on the home of this app. So that is good. You can at any point of time, even if you browse and discover and you know get somewhere uh, on the app somewhere else. You just can click on home to return back to your landings. So that is a offers pe click kiya that for wo matlab section. Yeah, just what is that? You know, the offers is a separate tab. Yeah. Hmm. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, this is a separate tab, and you you can you know probably click on things and you can go back. What he is identifying here is home button um, to land to home screen on phone. So that is uh, that is what he is identified here. And the second one that he's identified here is undo message sent on Gmail showing user control and freedom. This is exactly what Karuna mentioned the other day. The only problem with this is, and this is not a pass. This is a really uh, fails because uh, this is on the snack bar, and the snack bar will expire in a few seconds. It will disappear in a few seconds, right? So this is not a good example. So this is something that we have to let her know about this. Any thoughts, questions on this? This, because I, you know, we should not have people confused. We spoke about this till Varun brought this up, so Varun has missed this out. Anybody else? I think because this is an action item which is already done. For that reason, they have kept this as a snack bar thing, because the action has been done and it will be delivered after a few seconds. So it can't. But then the snack bar, the you can, you can undo the. Activity, uh, therefore, that button is there. Time because for the reaction, it has to be Correct, but the placement of that and when snack bar pe wo jayega, right? is it anywhere telling me that you can undo it? There could be different ways in, where it, in the way it can be designed. That, okay, you have a few seconds before you can undo this activity, right? And it is proximal to where you have uh, your... Uh, basically, your uh, cursor uh, stays on the screen after you have taken that action. So there are different ways of solving this. This is not a good example. The reason is this is snack bar. People will just not notice it. And another thing is that the left bottom till the time you travel until there, it just might disappear. I'll just add one thing. I just checked on Google card. What they call it? their help and documentation and uh, in these settings there is an option to actually extend the uh, time period for undo okay and in, by default it is i think five seconds so if we are used to that five seconds uh, that uh, snack bar uh, messaging uh, you know coming over there and uh, once that time period expires uh, basically the mail mail gets uh, Sent and the, they do, Gmail doesn't have control over it. Mm. So, so you basically can configure the snack bar uh, what you call setting in, yeah. in the duration. Correct, correct. So they have done it in this manner, but there could have they can think about improving this solution. Yeah, that's a possibility. I think. Uh, yeah. Which is the one I think. Uh, WhatsApp does it for it though. Okay. You can delete the message what you added directly by selecting yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So um, the next one, Nilesh. Yeah. So this is Swiggy that we use most of the time. So uh, whenever I click on any item, I have a back button. The so there is sometimes I click by mistakes, a uh, back button very prominent at the top to move back. Then uh, uh, removing items after adding them, I can uh, remove the items or I can add the items from there. And if I place the order, I have a cancel order within 60 seconds also on top. So I have the control and the freedom to add my items or select the items on the map. Correct. And that is also a point that Ambalika brought the other day. Yes, all of this makes sense. 
anybody else any any more observations <clears throat> okay uh, one more uh, query that i had now uh, there is one more option where that where i can select different addresses for delivery on the top so is that also user control and freedom like whenever i order there is my like on the first uh, first screen there is my address on the top and i can also order for someone else yeah so is so, there is that also part of user control and freedom yes, or is that a feature yes in my understanding that is also the control and freedom because you have the let's example there are three addresses okay and you mm -hmm. wanted to uh, say uh, choose that one particular address where you wanted to de get delivery so that is a definitely a control and freedom yeah it is allowing you to change okay. basically change and you know you're not necessarily stuck with it you're allowing it to change something okay. that even even brought up uh, in reference to the shopping cart uh, right the other day that you would want to uh, you know adjust your shopping cart after you have filled it and uh, you might want to just uh, also uh, not select something uh, remove it and just leave it in uh, some other selected area for later things like that so you can you're not necessarily stuck at this page you can do adjustments yeah so add more items also a part of uh yes uh, add more items however the principal i think let's think about this because the principal really focuses only at three things one is while it says um user control right it prominently talks about changing the route and allowing you to yeah we can consider it being able to add items from here. you don't have to necessarily keep going back and then you know add things but from here it is allowing you to just basically go back and uh, add more okay yeah. similar to this i have shared uh, uh, an instance to saptarshi prakash if you guys know he is the director of this wiki part and in that what happened is uh, there was a uh, issue while having a order placed and it lands you to an empty state like no restaurants found or something happened and there was no way back to go to that restaurants and there was no back arrow as well the only mm -hmm. option was the home home screen you know. so based on that suggestion they uh, later introduced that some call to action based on that empty state Okay. So empty states are like needs to have some action to it. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And they, it should not be up. like a dead end. Yeah. Sorry. Somebody was saying something. Yes, uh, Arup here, Rupali. So I, I I can't see the cancel button here, which is mentioned here on the point number three. And that is after this slide, which I think you know, Nilesh yeah. is not added. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so this is the screen where you can move ahead and add. Uh, fine. Ah, are, because I couldn't take the screenshot today. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Okay. Okay, Aru. Yes, here the first one is uh, from, I have taken from the Airbnb uh, site. So in the listing page, you can see the clear control of next and previous button. So you can see all the available images. Uh, with this uh, navigation also okay so without having uh, without going to the details page also so you can have that in the listing page and okay. next one is that the in the filter pop up so the price range gives us the great freedom uh, to the user that you can use the controller over that and again as well as you can put the manually numbers in the uh, minimum and maximum price range also this is a great control and great freedom for the users and the same thing here that uh, the close button is a uh, clear available on the uh, top left and again the clear all button that uh, somehow comes up in uh, the terms of uh, undo so you can clearly set the filters and uh, you can come up with the complete new options and uh, perform the filter options yeah uh, undo is different and clear all is different 
correct clear all is reset correct um, uh, undo is just one step back from you did some change here so from okay. zero to i change to one yes if yes. you give me an undo interaction it is just going to be setting the back to zero so okay, that is okay. just one action yeah so it is a, just a reset one just uh correct so it is just telling you options, yes. yes you can say, call it reset form or you can call it clear all. and clear all is something that we have seen is becoming more and more popular yes, more yes. more yeah correct um, I just want to add uh, uh, because everyone uh, is uh, a bit confusion about uh, a couple of actions. So for example, in this uh, screen, clear all is could be one of the option, but it might uh, giving the sense of it is one of the uh, uh, freedom to do one of the control. If you go back to the previous uh, screen, uh, Neelish also mentioned it is a freedom to add more items right so uh, sometimes it is giving the wrong message and uh, here uh, i would like to uh, give a uh, clear understanding is freedom to control is only four options one is a back and cancel and close and undo so other than that so this is one of the feature or uh, one of the easy to use uh, say for example add more items so uh, you need to keep an, uh, uh, make it uh, precise only four back cancel close and undo so these are the uh, key factors for the control as i uh, rupali mentioned so other than that you can take it as a uh, very easy to use uh, where it has a very flexible rather than going back right yes yeah See, while you're right, right, while the principle states and it states it is identified, I agree. And uh, that is something that right now I can't put it in any other principle. What it is really saying is that user often performs actions by mistake. They need a clearly marked emergency exit to leave the unwanted action without having to go through an extended process, right? People want to go back, they back out a process, okay? Users want to remain in control of the system and avoid getting stuck and feeling frustrated now while we say that yes exit undo cancel is also important now what it is doing this why i said you know we, i even i want to really think about this and question and research more to see if this is falling into this principle or it is not completely falling into this principle i'll tell you why because i'm thinking is that without really i this is I'm going back and going to be adding more. This is also where I want to, you know, typically this is going back for, from wherever I came, right? And this is allowing me to add more, right? Somewhere if you look at it, it is not necessarily the same, but the user wants to add more here, right? So if, if you look at it just with the principle, what it really states that it is giving some more control to the user which is right right it is giving some more control to the user right while it is not really abandon or undo or previous so let me also get even i want to give it a, a thought it a more thought i'll tell you what in these principles when they are stated there is one more ambiguity that i uh, when i was going through these uh, this principle once again on uh, their side the explanation was match between system and the real world and if you read through the complete article of it right it would say that uh, you know if there is something too technical it is difficult for somebody to understand right but now the question is and that is something that i kind of don't agree to it is if if your user is able to understand it then it is the right thing you cannot really simplify things considering an average user that is going to there is, there is no, no concept of an average user it is your user who's going to be using the application okay now you cannot simplify everything how how much of level of simplification would you say what is that threshold of simplification that is becomes ambiguous but you can always have a checkpoint that if my user understands this language i would want to have this if my user understands this icon then i would want to have this, whatever it is 
so there is some kind of i think revisit that even i think the uh, needs a normal group needs to do on some of these principles okay so i will i am saying that let's right now i don't know even let me do a research i would ask whoever thinks that you know it needs to uh, be crystal clear if this falls into the principle or not uh, i would suggest let's do that and then we can again talk about it in the next session when we meet. Yeah, yeah. Just one, uh, one minute. Huh. So uh, basically, yeah, see the bottom line is this is a uh, more than 20 year old rule. Okay, and I, I don't think uh, when uh, Jacob Nielsen had written that A, the internet had evolved that much as uh, the examples that we are seeing right now. And I think the simple uh, this rule is pretty much simple in the sense that it's just talking about giving user the freedom to backtrack. In the sense that if I take a step forward by clicking on something and going into another screen or you know changing the state of my current uh, application or website, yeah, and I realize that that is an that is not what my intention was. Can I uh, revert back? I think predominantly it is that. So if you go back to the yeah, yeah, this screen. So here, I think the, the only thing which makes sense from the pure principle perspective, what, what the, this uh, rule number three talks about is the back button. Like if I have added, let's say, here it's Vada, right? He's added Vada in the card. Uh, and the quantity is one. Let's say if he says that, oh, I actually wanted two plates. So instead of one, I wanted two. Then there should be an option to backtrack and maybe do that. Or he may say that I don't want a vada, I want something else. So there should be an option to go back. So that the back button is there. That itself is the end of the rule per se. But in modern terms, what we have done is developed features where we are even improvising that and saying that you don't even have to go back. I am giving you the control to handle those decisions here itself. So Correct. I can increase the quantity, add more items. So basically, add more items is as good as saying that you know there is a shortcut to go back. Yeah, yeah. And I, I can adjust well exactly to go back. So yeah, very honestly, there is there are multiple layers. So uh, somewhere we are kind of you know getting distracted by the other functionalities, but predominantly it's like if I've taken the decision to come to this screen, ye uh, cart uh, Nilesh had uh, shared the screen, right? Yeah, this is a cart. Acha, this is a cart. So basically, I am in a cart right now. Can I go outside of the cart? If I didn't have the control to go outside, then my freedom is lost. There is, there is control. And like you said, right, the intent, if the intent is from here, I want to adjust, correct? I, can I adjust things, right? So these are questions. I, as I said, you know, let's go back, research, and come back and uh, again discuss this. Uh, Nielsen Norman's articles are uh, something that are up to date most of the times. Okay, most of these articles are up to date with the latest uh, examples uh, and case studies and things like that. Uh, so feel free to do that. Uh, look at different opinions also around this <clears throat> and then let's form a <clears throat> uh, final uh, call on that you know how we would want to approach it okay so, so here uh, when you said so, about uh, uh, yeah Ali Manse. so uh, i'm adding to what Heyman has saying it's in the previous slide so this control and freedom is not only within the money's cafe if you wanted to add it but if suppose he wanted to change itself is the restaurant like some other is not like Vrindavan or something like that. So he can click that black back button and go, and then he will again have the freedom and uh, control in his hand. Yes. So internally, uh, when within this money cafe also, he have that one, and he can change the restaurant, or he can change the menu, and he will have that one. So, yeah. Thanks. Okay. And Ashok, to your point, let's do a deep dive digging onto this. Uh, and we probably we can uh, some uh, you know put some of these questions ahead in some forums to get some response. But valid point. That was Ashok, right? 
this no, no. sorry who was that um prakash uh -huh. um prakash um prakash yes um so let's do that okay let's move ahead with the uh, standards we just have 15 minutes so let's quickly so hey you have one minute yeah so based on if you focus on one item that is the prime action action buttons so these are consistent having across the different interfaces so okay. that is consistent and the ui which they have used is from a similar family so if you see fonts the alignments padding and the icon sizes and uh, those interactions so when i say actions which we can break it down like primary secondary tertiary links and action based icons and if it is a least priority item within those actionable items then it can be as a link yeah i think they have like so these are like two different products the first one is gmail filter the second is google calendar and the third one is Google Drive. Uh, sorry, so he licking you up a tertiary cup. You said about a tertiary. Tertiary is a create filter that is tertiary search. Ke uh, no, that is a secondary, right? Clear filter is a secondary, no? Haan, but that is least in that case. Kukia say second wala de Koge, that is the secondary wherein you get the uh, yeah. that okay. interaction they have kept okay. and those are like similar to all your other actions as well if you see the dates 11 to 12 9th march and other interactions so those are all secondary items okay so secondary you are calling as per the style is that yes okay and okay As per the style, also as per uh, your importance Usage. on that particular area. Yeah, yeah because uh, see, I understand it's for the visual perspective and the functional perspective also should be like the primary, secondary, and tertiary. So when mm -hmm. you're saying search is a primary action, clear mm -hmm. filter, uh, I understand there is a tertiary, uh, that style you might have. It's given. not clear filter, it is create oh, filter. Sorry, create filter, my, my bad. So it's a create filter. It's supposed to be secondary, right? It's, I don't know why it has like that. Okay. Yeah, so, it is. The, yeah. So if you look at it, you know, so how much, how many times, how how often do you create a filter? I'm not sure about the position of it really, uh, that they have placed it here. But uh, you're right. You know, when they place it here, you would typically would want to have a primary and a secondary, right? And you might not have a, want to have a combination of a primary and a tertiary there. Um, but what they have done is so that it doesn't just get out of the, uh, you know, vis vision of the user. They have placed it here. It is create filter and it is not clear filter. So basically, whatever you have filtered here, you just can create a filter out of it. Basically, it's save filter, right? It just makes a filter out of that. Yeah, so, that's good. They kept in a proximity. Yeah, that they have kept in close proximity. Uh, good, bad, ugly. I don't know, but they would have done their uh, testing for sure. Uh, the tertiary i think why uh, this could also be tertiary that how many times would you really you know would do a search filter and a create filter how many filters would you see very rare right therefore i think their styling could have been this which is more like a tertiary however if you are going to be doing more actions in reference to this which is a in from an information architecture level and the value of that information level if it is going to be higher then it has more attention and therefore there it has this kind of style. That is what I believe I'm not really with my observation. Yeah, same here. Okay. Yeah, All right. Think, Interesting think. examples. Yeah. Good. One uh, internal uh, you're saying this is an example of an internal uh, standards and consistencies. Right? Yeah, internal and external if you call uh, internal yeah. but yeah, in ka internal right? Correct. Okay, anybody, any points? 
All right, let's move on to the next English. Yeah, so I just got two examples out of the Amazon the mobile app and the desktop app. So in the mobile app uh, the, and the desktop, we have the search position consistent across the apps <laughs> at the top. OK. And uh, but the color is not consistent in the desktop and the mobile version. OK. OK. Button style in in the mobile app only it is not consistent. If you see on the left hand side and the right hand side, the button style is varying. Correct. But this is a different button, right? So this is proceed to buy. And that and is added. This, actually, this is proceed to buy. The language is also different. So this is, is this buy now? Good. I don't know. So if you're comparing this, <clears throat> I want to understand if this is really buy now. As in proceed to buy, what should it have had this, this kind of a <clears throat> styling to it? Shape and all. Shape and color and all of that. First of all, the card is inside. This card is inside already. Okay. Uh, count for this, two Okay. Could be. So, is it necessary to change the shape? No, shape. Yes. Okay. Uh, it uh, depends on what is, you know, so if you're calling your actions as primary actions that you want to, and if it is a secondary action, based on the, or based on how you're defining your product's definition. If you, if you think that this is secondary, the user is going to be really moving ahead and doing other purchases, you just want to bring users' attention there, then it's more like, you know, highlight kind of a thing, then you might want to treat it that way. So I think we don't have a comparison. If we are wrong, comparing it with the wrong thing, if you're already in the cart and here it is outside the cart, so we can't compare this really, but this thing with any anything that we are seeing here. But yeah, the search, yes. These are different, but the positions are the same. So Nilesh wanted to show, is this an error or what is your point, Nilesh, here? No, for the button, I thought that the shape would have been similar for all the buttons. OK, so you are showing like it's a fail. Uh, principle is that you are trying to say yes yeah okay okay so you're saying button is not consistent right and color is not consistent search mm. position is consistent, consistent. Sorry. Yeah. yeah so this is pass and this is fake and i agree with the nilesh point yeah it should be consistent and uh, the color also so whether that could be a Primary or secondary, it is not giving any clue. So that is uh, that is a different uh, uh, discussion. But yeah, I agree with him. But might be it is true or uh, false. Sorry, uh, Umbrag, what is the last statement that you said? True and false. Uh, yeah, sometimes it is true. Sometimes mm -hmm. it could not be required to be same as other buttons because of the mm -hmm. again the context okay. all right let's move on to the next one varun is not here i i will just i think we'll just skip this for now uh who's this Saru. 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 yeah ah. so here is the point is the position of the close button uh the airbnb used on the every pop-up they have so maybe generally we expect that the position of the close button is the right top corner. Okay, so they have broken the rule of familiarity bias, but they had made it the uh, consistent uh, through all over the product. And for the first time, you may have the uh, problem to find it out, but the next time onwards, you can easily find it out and uh, uh, perform the tax easily. <coughs> Now that consistency, yeah, you're right. And uh, it is mostly on the left, uh, right hand side. Right. But for Apple users, it is all on the left hand side on the OS. So that is there. But I don't think that with OS recognition, you can swap buttons like that. So yeah, for some people, it can turn out to be convenient and some people it will not. And should be really identified based on 
users that are going to be and this is airbnb right yes <clears throat> so you can't really uh, define you know what kind of systems uh, that users use more they could just use desktop uh, basically windows or apple I have also seen like three of the websites are doing this interaction, keeping the clothes on the very left side. Apple mm. also does the same on their website. Mm. Yeah, overall Apple does that, right? On their OS yeah. also they do that, so they will have to follow it on their website also. Yeah. So it's Isko an internal standard. Iske Iske yeah, ke bahari leke jate usko. Ah, aise, aise upar. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So this is past. So you're saying it's yes. Uh, the rule. Ha. No. No. Ye abhi past hai. But because of that, they have maintained uh, the position throughout the uh, throughout their uh, product. Correct. So okay. they have made it internally. Internally. Okay. Internally. Yes. Correct. Internally, it passes, but uh, your if we don't know if from the user's expectation. Yes, yes, yes. For the first time, I have also a problem travel that uh, I can't find it out. But mm. yes, for the next time onwards, I I can easily mm. find it out and perform that. Right. Okay. Any thoughts on this? Okay. Let's move on to the next one, Ashok. Yeah. So this is Bitfinex actually. Uh, I made this platform. So <laughs> yeah, here I have like resolved all the UX issues which were uh, uh, faced earlier. So here uh, all the negative values you can see in the uh, red color and the positive are in green. And uh, yeah, you can, I have already also covered uh, this other principle, consistency and standard here. So all the sections which traders are operating, we ha I have given options to like play on this uh, on that sections only. Here you can see the order book is open in the next screen, and they can refresh, close, or go back to this that section only if they want to trade. Uh, they can open the trade books, and they can play there, and the uh, uh, negative and positive value will be shown there and yeah so uh and then other things are themes and etc the brandings are consistent all over the platform you designed this ashok this uh, system yes wow yeah very interesting especially with so much of complexity in place you have have to still bring uh, the whole I didn't want to come to like research uh, to find some another platform, so just I copy pasted mine. Which one yeah. you refer to? Which one you refer to? Uh, yesterday I got a message right from Rupali to add the screens. I didn't got time to like research on either these things, so I just may uh, copy pasted my yeah product. Fine. That's okay. great. good, good. I thought when you were yeah. uh, designing this interface, you were referring some other platforms. So I just wanted to know. Um, uh, I, I, that time, like I had made this about seven years back. So for that time, not much uh, uh, sources were available. I just referred uh, uh, exchanges, mm -hmm. uh, the stock exchanges, yeah. and implemented those things into the. OK, OK. And for this one, have you done the accessibility uh, testing also? Because this white yeah yeah, this, this platform is available on the day and night mode because sometimes uh -huh. trading happens in the night time. So this is the night mode actually. Uh -huh. uh, you can switch the day mode and it will be, the background color will be um, white. The white and, and the rest then, of the colors will be the same, so uh, it won't affect any uh, challenges in the black mode. Okay, so if it is a white, then the font text is like black, right? As just black, like, black. Yeah, okay. just report it. Yeah, and so, so the background there is a one uh, that green and the red color that uh, the. Uh, yeah, yeah. These are negative or positive value. At the time these graphs are meeting in the top, that time trading is happening. Okay. The lowest value. So you can zoom it. Actually, uh, it. I try to like log in in the Bitfinex, but it is not opening. So. I could have shown. Login. Yeah, we have given options to like uh, uh, 
uh, to learn also about the cryptocurrency exchanges you can see everywhere every in the every corner i uh, actually i think uh, this is the better form for understanding of the ux because in every corner you can find any uh, info icon to understand what is happening in the uh, particular section of the platform so you can see uh, if you let's zoom it there is a setting in every uh, sections search setting minus plus so you can just click on it and you can uh, uh, know what is happening at the time uh, to just understand what is uh, about the uh, trading and the particular uh, time of period period of times yes good work good work there is an info icon that you spoke about oh, you it's said in the setting actually yeah, it's in the okay yeah so everything okay yeah got it and minus uh, back everything is in the particular section is in the order books order history uh, trade books and uh, okay. tickers you can find everything on the sections only you can zoom it and close everything uh, okay you can work in a particular section and uh, know everything so uh, here you can uh, i can cover both these uh, uh, principles user control uh, and consistency standards both mm -hmm. okay it's great good that we have examples that we worked on good. All right. Anybody else? Any thoughts to share on this? Okay. I think let's uh, let Varun present it when he meet we when we meet in the next time. I think good, great session. Uh, let's meet again next Tuesday. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for uh, thank you yeah. everybody for really adding examples and having a good discussion. And debates. Thank you. Thank you, Rupali. Thank you, Rupali. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.